What's going on guys? Jurassic Acid here. Thank you for checking out my video. Looks like we got a mercenary to take out real quick. Hey there buddy. Got anything good on you? Oh, this is gonna be a quick fight. So it looks like we're able to take on level 18 enemies fairly easy now. Nice. Hey there. Your plan seemed to work. The monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness. I think we'll go ahead and upgrade our poison dagger. It doesn't have all the abilities as a gold one, but it has the extra poison damage, and I think that'll be more useful for what we do right now, at least. Do we have anything else? The bow would be nice to upgrade too, but we don't have enough hide. How much hide you got there, buddy? I guess we'll buy all of it. I don't think it's enough, though. Else. Might as well get another synchronization point while we're here. So we're two levels below the Munger, but I think we're going to go ahead and try it and see what happens. Last time we were two levels lower, we were able to handle it, and I feel like it's just trying to make us slow down the story a little bit. We should be okay, hopefully. But I am confused why they're all in the front row. This is supposed to be an epic fight. They should be way in the back, in a safe spot. Wanted the fucking show. I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours, just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you. Bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! You... 
You knew my mother? She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets. They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets. That's a nice helmet he drops. It's a little weird since he's not wearing a helmet at all. Well, at least that's good news. It sounds like her mother is alive. We'll just have to keep playing the story till we find her. It's only, I don't know, something. I guess we were always suspected to be dead, so she never told anyone to let us know. We're gonna definitely take out these minions first. At least they're at the same level as us. And we'll just have to deal with him in a bit. I don't think it'll be too bad. Forgot to craft arrows though, so I guess that's always bad. So that's kind of weird, even though he's not doing a heavy attack, you're not able to block it. Or at least it didn't let me there. Alone, buddy, we're just trying to take on your little guy first. So I wonder how tall our character actually is, because that dude looks huge compared to us. Oh great, now we have a bounty on her? Alright people, you need to get back a little bit. Wait, is the bounty hunter going after him? Uh, well this is interesting. I guess we'll just hang out and watch the fight. You come here often, gay? You always in the front row? You don't talk very much, do you? So I think no matter who is going to die, we're going to jump in at the last second and at least get the kill so we get the experience for it. But I definitely was not expecting a bounty hunter to come out of nowhere. I guess he has a higher bounty on him and he's just never outside to get attacked by him. Who do you guys think will win? The bounty hunter or the munger? At least the bounty hunter has a shield and a spear. He should at least have the little bit of an advantage. Bounty Hunter's health is looking pretty low. We're gonna have to jump in there real quick. Thanks for the help, buddy, but I got to, uh, I had to get your experience. I'm sorry. I would have rather the Munger die instead of you. Well, at least he's already a little bit over a quarter of the way done. And I'll speed up our fight a little bit. I kind of wish I had the 5 star bounty on me, and then did this fight just to see if 5 mercenaries would have took him on. That would have been pretty hilarious. 
It sounds like there's another mercenary nearby, but I don't see him on the marker. I just see the cultist symbol for the monger. Easy there. We don't want to get hit by that thing. Where are your friends? I have to kill you since you threatened us and our mother. So he's that warrior rage thing. But I'm not exactly sure what ability I would actually get rid of to do that. Maybe bull strike? But I really like being able to grab their shields because it gets annoying trying to attack them when they have one. I feel like health is really important too. And definitely either poison or fire speeds up doing a lot more damage. One buddy trying to get in the middle. Try not to kill anybody. Looks like one person already died. You think they would at least move up to the second row? Be kind of out of the way? I guess that's good enough for them. So I'd assume in the first row for this kind of fight, you'd be getting blood splashed all over your face, and you wouldn't even be able to see anything. Trying to get back into the middle. But at least he's only focused on us instead of trying to kill the people. Yeah, we got this. It's a good thing we got our weapon up to level 20. I think they definitely made a big difference for us, but... It stinks that we couldn't level up our bow any, but since we don't have any bow skills yet, I don't think it was too bad of a thing. It'd be nice if you could find normal arrows on enemies more often. It just seems like every time you need to craft something, you never have enough stuff. They don't like to spend all our crafting stuff to make arrows when we need it to upgrade our swords and stuff. That would be cool if it was a different crafting item completely, so it didn't matter at all. Come on, Munger, it's time for you to die. Oh, we got him. Talk. Well, that's different. People of Corin, behold the weasel that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. And the pleasure is all mine. Better. I have been starving for this. He deserved all of it. And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. 
You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband, a family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Iron sword. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. Well, this place has gone downhill. Help me. Alexios, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Let's see you later, Phoebe. And yeah, we'll let me attack him. He's not helping the crowd any, he's just trying to make them go even crazier. Any of you seen Socrates around here? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens, the world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. 
The reason I came back to Athens was to talk to you about Mirini. Your mother will live to see tomorrow. My love won't live to see another sunset. You've had many sunsets with him. I've spent all my nights alone. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. So I guess we gotta go up to Pericles' room now. Yeah, we'll just climb up the pillar. Take your medicine. Aspasia, my light. I told you. It's Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. Well, that causes the consequences, so I guess we'll tell him he looks bad. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses his no favorites. I fear I failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. Oh great, Phoebe's kidnapped now? By the gods. What happened? This doesn't look good. This was savage. Done to send a message. 
I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Limos must be carrying through on her threat. Is that everything? Yeah, it looks like it. Hold on, Phoebe, we're coming. Phoebe. Don't do anything oh. crazy. Hey, stop! Hey, there she is. Why are you still walking forward? Phoebe! I'm kind of confused what just happened. Didn't we just walk past her? I thought she just screamed. Maybe we weren't supposed to beat her here? I don't know, that's kind of weird. This is why I like that shield ability though. Makes a fight like this way easier. It would be kind of cool if you could dual wield the swords too, but it won't let you, just daggers. I guess that makes sense. Swords do a little bit more damage in this game. But the daggers are more rapid attacks, so it actually equals out. At least we're getting a two for one there. It's like two people are almost dead and the other two are about half health. It's not too bad. What are you guys picking on little girls for? That's just mean. I didn't even see him do an ability to knock us on the ground, we just fell over. They don't look like cultists though. Kinda look like the general soldiers. Alexios, are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care. Tell me where Aspasia is. Alexios. <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend, I agree. She can't really be dead. How can they kill one of the better characters? Why not pick on Marcos? Where's her body at? It's around here somewhere. Yeah, we definitely ran past someone dressed like you. Alright guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I can't believe that actually happened.